guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. I am back from Europe. If you've been following me, you would have noticed that I was away for a good month. I went on a Contiki tour around Europe, um, starting in London, and I bought so much stuff while I was over there. I spent so much money, but it was well and truly worth it because I bought a bunch of beauty products and clothes that I would not be able to find back in Australia. And if I did, they would be twice the price considering the markup here. So I was very happy to do some shopping. So it's gonna be a long one, so I'm gonna get straight into it. Um, the first things I'm gonna show you are all from Paris and London, um, from Sephora and Boots and all those sorts of places. Um, and the Mac uh, Pro stores. I think I went to one in Athens. So I've got all that, I'm sort of combining it all into one big thing for the makeup. So the first thing I'll show is the Benefit Pore Freshenal. And this is the, um, did I say Pore Freshenal? <laughs> pore f <laughs> pore Fashional? I said it right. Okay, Pore Fashional. <laughs> And this is a primer and it's to help um, minimize your pores basically. And I have used this a couple of times since I got back and I've fallen in love with it and I'm really really sad that I have almost because I'm gonna I'm gonna want to be repurchase it and it costs an insane amount of money here. I think even more than when you buy it in um, I bought this one in Paris. So uh, yeah, I'm I love it but I'm sad that I'm gonna have to repurchase something majorly expensive, but that's okay. This isn't in the order of how I've shopped, it's just sort of been sitting in my room all over the place. And the next thing I got, this has been around for a long time in the beauty community, you're probably sick of seeing it, but it's the Quarterly um, Beauty Elixir, and I bought this in Paris, of course, in the French pharmacies. And yeah, no, I've used a little bit of it, as you can tell. I. Everybody's saying it's a miracle product. I don't think it's a miracle product, but it is a good product. Um, will I repurchase it again? Probably not, because it's so hard to find, and I don't find it that amazing. But that being said, I could change my mind later on, because I've only used this a couple of times. So I'll see how I go, and I'll probably end up reviewing it on my blog, so look out for that. And the next things I have... I bought two of these because I knew it was a product that I was going to love, because I've seen so many reviews. And it's the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. And we don't have Collection 2000 in Australia, so it's a very, um, it's a hot commodity here for me. Um, and yeah, I just bought this, and I bought this in the shade Fair. And I've used this a couple of times, and I really, really love it. And it does exactly what everybody says. It's perfect for dark, dark circles, everything. And it lasts for a very long time, and I'm going to be very, very sad when they both run out. But... Maybe I'll end up back in the UK before this happens. But yeah, I bought this in Boots, I think it's called. And we don't have Boots here. And I also bought... Um, this is... A, I think it was half price. Or you get... No. You buy a couple of Gosh products and you get a free lip gloss. And I bought one Gosh product and my friend Amy, who went travelling with me, bought another one. And I got the gloss because she didn't want one. So I got this Gosh lip gloss in the colour Raspberry Galore. I haven't actually used this yet because it's still been sitting in the bag just waiting to be used. That's the colour. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> so professional. Um, and yeah, no, it's really pretty and I'm hoping that it's going to be a really good lip gloss. But yes, yeah, so that's that one. And the original product that I got from Gosh was the long lasting brow pen and it's basically brow ink um, for your eyebrows and I did use this but I wasn't actually amazed by it um, but I think I just need to get used to using it because I only ever use a powder on my eyebrows so I think I just need to get used to the consistency because the color is nice and it lasts all day I don't get any smudging I got this in the color wheat and yes I well, I will see how I go with that. I'm not sold just yet, but um, I will see. I went to Topshop and I went crazy in the makeup section. So I bought two lipsticks. I bought Brighton Rock and Sartorial. I'm not wearing any of them today, by the way, because um, I wanted to keep them really nice and in the packaging for this haul. So I will open them with you. 
Um, Sartorials is like a corally color and the packaging looks like this and I just think it's really really pretty and yeah it's just a nice coral color I'll swatch it and that's the color yeah so a really pretty coral color and yeah I'm just a little bit obsessed obsessed with the packaging it matches my top um, and it's really I don't know it feels nice I just I love it I wish we had a top shop here. We do have top shop in Australia, but not in the city that I live in. And the next lipstick, ah, I just broke the box. Oh well, I'll probably throw it away anyway. Um, the next one is the Brighton Rock, and this is like, I guess you could call it a hot pink. And I'll swatch this one next to there. And that's Sartorial. And I just thought that was a really nice color too. So I've got those two, and I really wish I had a bought more Topshop lipsticks because I really like the consistency. Um, but maybe I'll buy a couple online because they do deliver to Australia. And I bought a Revlon lip butter, also from UK, the UK. And this was from Boots again. And this is the colour Tutti Fruity. And this is a nice orange colour. That's it there. And I l absolutely love this. I've got a bit of an obsession with orange at the moment. As you can tell, I'm wearing Max orange on my lips today. And yeah, I bought this lip butter because I've been wanting this color. I've got two already because you can buy them in Australia. But they're $22.95, I think, at Priceline. Whereas in the UK in Boots, I think they're six pounds, which is like, I don't know, $12, $13 here. So I was very happy to get this. It's a bit of a bargain and I wanted the colour for so long, so I got that one. And another three things from Topshop. I got three nail polishes. And the first one is Celestial. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Celestial. And it's a really pretty powder blue. And I've seen somebody haul this, some a famous YouTuber, I can't remember which one but it was absolutely gorgeous and I loved the look of it on her nails so I've got that one. I haven't used it yet but I'm very excited because it's just such a pretty colour. Look at that. Just look at it. And the next two are some very crazy glittery nail polish and they're both from Topshop obviously. And one of them is called Ice Crush and that's the more bluey silvery glitter. And the other one is called Adrenaline. And I think this one's my favorite. I've used this already. So I used it on an accent nail with this nail polish. I haven't got it on today, but, and it's really good because most, most glitter nail polish, if you want it to be a completely opaque coat, you have to put on about eight coats to get it that way or, or an under, an undercoat of a solid color beforehand. But this one, you do two or three coats and the whole thing is opaque. It's some of the best glitter nail polish I've ever used. I, I went a little bit nail polish crazy, but I've got two more nail polishes. These are from Boots. Boots or Superdrug, I can't remember because I went to both and I went makeup crazy in both of them. But this one is from Miss Sporty. And it doesn't actually have a name. It's got a number underneath, but I can't read that because I don't have my glasses on. But it's this really pretty, I don't know, bright cobalt blue, I guess you could say, or electric blue. And it's just a beautiful color. And it looks exactly the same on the nails as it does on the video. So that is the true to color, true to life color. And the next one I got, this is from Boots, I think, and it's a Barry M nail paint. I've never used Barry M before. Yeah, it's just a pretty yellow colour and it's called Lemon. And then, I promise you these are the last nail polishes I bought. I went to American Apparel and I bought these. And it's the Neon Nail Lacquer. Do you say lacquer? We don't say lacquer here. We say polish. I've noticed that in, in English halls they seem to say something else. They say varnish. I've never heard anyone say lacquer. But anyway. Um, this one is the Neon Coral, so it's like a bright orange. And this one is the Neon Yellow. And the Neon, it's a Neon Red, but it looks more pink. It's a very pinky red, but it's, yeah, called Neon Red. 
And those polishes are amazing. I've used the yellow and the orange one so far, and I love both of them. Then, these are all from MAC. So I went to my first ever MAC Pro store in Athens, and it is so much cheaper than Australia. I know I keep saying that, but really, come to Australia. Don't buy the makeup here, though. Just don't. Just come here for the sun and the sand and the people. Don't come here for buying makeup. I will give you that tip now. So, I went to MAC, the MAC Pro Store. I had the best time and I bought two blushes and two lipsticks and they were so, oh, so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah. I don't know what that noise was. And yeah, this lipstick, I had been wanting this forever and it is the MAC Rebel. Look at it. And this is that sort of deep, plummy red. It's just a deep plum, actually. And that's what it looks like there. I love it. I haven't used it yet, but I know I love it. I don't even care if it doesn't suit me. I'm going to wear it anyway. Because it's just so amazing. And then the next one... Oh, I was excited about this one too, and I wore this all of my trip, I swear. It was the lipstick that I just lived in. Because it's a very... It's, it's a your lips but better colour. I know everyone says that, but... It's a gorgeous colour and it is syrup. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. And I'll swatch it as well. And it's that one there. And it's just a gorgeous, dusty, neutral pink and neutral pinky brown and it's just absolutely perfect for everyday use and it smells really nice it's one of those mac lipsticks i've noticed a few formulas i don't know this is a it's a luster and then the rebel was a satin so i guess maybe the luster lipsticks smell really nice in general i'm not sure let me know if you know and then i've got my two blushes and the first one is called Dainty. And sorry if, I, if you're getting a bit of a glare, the window is right behind the camera for light because it's a very cloudy day at the moment. And this one, yeah, it's called Dainty and it's a really, it's a nice shimmery pink. I'm running out of hand space to show you. I'll show you on my finger, you can see that. It's just a really nice, um, pale, cool-toned pink with a little bit of shimmer in it. So it's really good for pale skins like me. And yeah, it looked really natural and it just gave me a nice glow. It's got shimmer in it, but it's not that chunky glitter that's going to make you look like you belong in a drag show. So <laughs> it's just a really nice um, gleam and a nice sheen to your skin. So I love that one, and obviously I've used this. I'm trying to keep them really nice in the box. I don't know why, because I end up throwing the box out anyway, but I don't know. Does anyone else do that? Just keep their new products in a box for a while? I don't know. I'm weird. And the next one is the Spring Sheen Blush. Ooh, camera. Hello. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is Spring Sheen, and I'll swatch this one again. This is a gorgeous colour. I was obsessed with this. It's a pink with a golden sort of sheen to it. You can see that on my ring finger. I don't know, I just love it. And it looks amazing. Sorry, I'm mesmerised. Um, it just, it looks amazing on the skin. It looks amazing on your cheeks. It gives you this really nice glow. Like... I don't know, like you've just been exercising a little bit and you've got a natural flush, and but you look golden and radiant at the same time. I'm really rubbish at explaining it, but I mean, you saw it. It's amazing. But yeah, it's just a nice pink with the gold under shimmer to it. Um, and I love it. I really do. The next thing... Oh yeah, this is the last thing from Boots that I got. And this is the Katy Perry Lashes. And these are the Oh Honey, I guess, lashes. And they're the sort of wispy ones. They're kind of like the Ardell uh, uh, wispies, the Demi wispies, if you've ever used those before. And they look, they look a bit more natural because of the way that they're clumped together. 
but they still give you that really nice length and definition so I can't wait to use them. And the next thing that I have to show you is very exciting. I got the opportunity to go to Fragonard in Paris and it's a museum, it's a perfume museum and they also make really nice fragrances there. So we got to look around the museum and look at all the old perfume bottles and the way they used to make them and the way they make them now and where they source all their ingredients. So I went there and I got the opportunity to buy a really special fragrance and this is not Eau de Toilette, it's not Eau de Parfum, it's just Parfum. So it's the most concentrated form of fragrance that you can get with the least amount of alcohol as a mixer inside. So it's the, it's, it lasts a really long time on your skin and you need literally one spray per wrist or one spray on your neck. I don't know, wherever you want to wear your perfume. I just put one spray on each wrist and I smell amazing for the whole day and a, a bit of the next day. So it's a very tiny bottle. It comes in a package like this. It's a bit squished from being in my luggage. And then the bottle, you can get several different sizes and I just got the smallest one because it's so expensive. But I got this here. This is a tiny little bottle and it's called Etoile. And it's a orange based fragrance with a little bit of vanilla and several other notes that I can't remember at the moment but it smells amazing. And it just smells so sexy, you know. and yeah, if you can imagine that zesty orange with the really nice vanilla mixed in, it's kind of almost like a Marnie Code, if you've ever smelt like smelt that perfume. But it's a little it's a little sexier, it's the only way I can explain it. But yeah, I really love this fragrance. They have a million different scents, and this is I smelt so many, my nose was burnt. I swear it was burnt, and I, I don't think they had coffee beans either. But or they probably did, and I just didn't see them but yeah my nose was burnt but I was still I still managed to find this one because I knew that my fragrance was there somewhere and I really wanted a fragrance from Paris from a real perfumery I mean you don't get to do that every day so that is the perfume I got it is amazing and if you ever get a chance to visit Fragonard in Paris you have to do it and I also bought another fragrance from there it's not the special one that they do but it's a eau de toilette and it's just basically vanilla but with a few other things inside and the bottle looks like this sorry about the glare and the box is like that and this is gorgeous and it's a nice big solid um, bottle and it's just it's really simple it's a nice simple bottle it's not too in your face, it doesn't have any fancy things on it and I like that even though I do like fancy bottles I, I sometimes just the nice basic bottles are just, I don't know, classier I don't know why I'm talking about bottles, I don't think any pro anybody probably cares <laughs> so those are the two fragrances I got, so excited about those um, I also got, I can't actually find the bottle, I literally just had it two seconds ago, I think I might have walked around with it and put it down and just forgot about it and now I don't know where I put it but I also bought the Bioderma um, I don't know, is it Carolyn? Serolyn? Beauty Water? Um, I went on... Con <laughs> it's... I got the opportunity... Okay... Where's my Bioderma? No idea where that went. It's gotta be under there somewhere. Memorize Miss. It's so pretty. Because um. I got the opportunity to go. I'm going to put my charger in. What was I up to? Oh, yeah. 